from Teach Your Kids Code. So today I wanted to show you this cute little activity that I have come up with with a 3D pen that would be an awesome Halloween activity for uh, your classroom, for a STEM club, uh, to do with your kids who have experience with a 3D pen. Um, so you're going to carve your own pumpkin uh, with a 3D pen and I'm going to take you through the steps uh, to do this really simple, easy uh, craft. Uh, that's a lot of fun. Okay, so essentially this is the template. This is available in the link in the description uh, for free. This uh, template can be downloaded as a PDF from my website and then I have laminated it. You could also put um, tape over it, clear tape over it. It's just a lot easier to use a 3D pen if you have like a, a shiny-ish plastic surface. So I would say laminate or put tape over it just to be able to peel your design off easier. Um, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to trace and fill in all of these shapes with your 3D pen. First, you are going to design though your pumpkin face. So you can use a dry erase marker to fill in what you're going to create in the face. Or if you are like me and you're not the most artistic person in the world, the second page of the template comes with some pumpkin faces that have been pre-designed. So you can also print these off, and that's what I did for my pumpkin here, is I used some of these pre-made designs. Um, but I do think it would be fun for kids to be able to design their own uh, pumpkin here. I am using for this activity the Scrib 3D Advanced Pen. I like this pen a lot and the reason I ended up choosing this pen for this activity is I like that when you press the forward button, the extrude button, you can just press it once and you don't have to keep pressing it and then the filament will come out. So I was finding with another pen that I was getting a cramp because there's actually a lot of drawing that's done here. Um, the drawing total took me about 20-25 minutes to make this and so yeah, you're gonna be holding a pen for a long period of time if you're prone to getting writer's cramp. I really like this pen because you only have to press this button once and then you don't have to grip it too hard. Um, and so I'll take you through exactly what you need to do uh, to create this. Essentially though, you're going to draw each of these shapes by making an outline and then filling it in slowly to make your layer and then we're going to connect all the pieces at the end. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to start with outlining your pumpkin shape. I'm going to just go along here and just outline. This is how you get started with a 3D pen is first by outlining your shape and then filling it in. I'll tell you in advance that I am not the most artistic person in the world, so you're going to get a realistic view of what someone who doesn't have a lot of art experience can do with a 3D pen. Outline the face as well. I could be turning this to try to get it less smushed in here, but um, it works out okay when I'm filling it in afterwards. Okay. Now I've got it outlined and now I'm going to just get a nice angle here and I'm going to start filling it in. Just go slowly back and forth filling in the entire shape. So let's speed this up while we do the rest of this pumpkin and I'll meet you back when we connect the pieces.
Okay, so we have all our pieces here. We've got our pumpkins with different designs for the face. We've got our two sides and our bottom here. And so now I'm gonna just show you quickly how to attach them together. It's actually extremely simple. You're just gonna hold them like this. And then you're just gonna draw a line of filament across the edge. That's it, it's very easy to make the connections. Just a simple line of filament does it. We'll do the same thing for the other side. So thanks for watching this tutorial on this 3D pen pumpkin activity. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had a lot of fun doing it with my kids. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more.